Okay, this is lesson 76, number 2, and it says a club has 10 members, and it wants them to pose six at a time for pictures. How many groups of six can be formed from the 10 people? So I happen to already know that this is going to be combinations, and I gave a lecture, it's, it's on the... Um, it's on YouTube, but the lecture basically was saying the, the difference between combinations and permutations. Do you guys remember permutations of n things taken r at a time? Does this look familiar? Like, does it, have you ever seen that in all your born days right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's another one just like that one, but it's combinations. So combinations of n things taken r at a time. They're just, they're like twins. They're like brothers, except combinations. It doesn't matter the order that you have something doesn't matter. So, and to make up for the so that the order doesn't matter, they ha it has a little extra part, doesn't it? It has a little r square or r factorial. So, I mean, I can just tell you how to plug it in. You just plug that's n, that's r. Plug them in the hole, and then they're they're done. But how do you know when to use them? You, um, this one you use if you're trying to find like passwords or something. Like if I said I had um, the numbers 1, 2, and 3, and how many passwords I can make, or how many different passwords, well, I can make a lot of different passwords. I can make 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, you know, there's a whole bunch of different passwords. But if I said how many groups would I get, like when I'm just talking about like people or something, it doesn't matter like the different, like if I picked Cameron, Seth, and Rachel, that's not different than if I picked Rachel, Cameron, and Seth, mm -hmm. right? They're, it's, they're all one group. So basically you're using the combinations. A lot of times it'll be when they're talking about groups of people. So you, that's when you just want to do it a little bit different. So I'm going to use my formula here. And n is 10, so it's 10 factorial. And then 10 minus 6, you know, because it's n minus r, 10 minus 6 is going to give me a 4 factorial, if you don't mind me skipping a little step. And then that's r, so that's 6 factorial, right, from the r factorial. That's n minus r. I just did it in my mind. I went 10 minus 6 and got it. Now I just do it my usual way. I go 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. I'm going to stop at 6 because the 654321 is going to cancel with that. and But here I'm going to go 4 times 3 times 2. I never write the 1s. And then I like to look at it and see if there's some good... Like I can take this 4 and this 2 and get rid of an 8. And I can take the 3 and get rid of part of the 9. And then I can go 10 times 3 is 30. Or 7 times 3 is 20. That's 210, isn't it? <coughs> So there's 210 different ways I can choose um, these little group picture things. Is that all, do you guys have questions about that? Okay. So combinations, just they're just like the permutations that you've been doing before, but um, the order does not matter. Okay. Oh, I better change this.